don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell hey guys welcome back uh, to sahara football uh, today we're going to talk about kumasi asante kotoko they have settled on their jerseys for the new upcoming uh, season which is 2020-2021 uh, we all know what happened to the 2019-2020 season kumasi asante kotoko uh, with some amazing rebranding up here on your screen right now they asked fans of the club uh, to vote for their favorite jerseys using a certain short code as you can see on your screen and the voting was supposed to end on the 31st of october 31st of october has passed now and today they released the jerseys that have been voted by fans you can see the two options uh, between the jersey a and uh, for the home jersey option a and option b and for the away jersey option a and option b as well fans were asked to vote and we are going to see what the fans decided to use for their jersey for the upcoming uh, season and uh, we also going to talk about their latest signing uh, sule muniru if you are not careful you think i put sule montari in that title it's sule muniru but he is related uh, to ghanaian player sule montari we'll be looking at the profile of i don't know whether this is the 12th or 13th signing of kumasi asante kotoko at this point i have lost count of how many players they have signed so far so subscribe if you haven't and click on the notification bell uh, to get more updates so the porcupine warriors asked uh, their fans uh, to vote for the jersey they wanted because uh, the jerseys are in fact made for the fans to buy and to patronize and the porcupine warriors and their um, fans have made uh, the decision uh, for the jersey they want their club to be wearing home and away so you saw the the home jersey this is how the kotoko fans voted 53 percent of them wanted option a and for the away jersey 5 and 62 percent of them wanted option a as well uh, so based on that these are the official jerseys for kumasia santo kotoko option a and option b uh, option a were chosen in both the away version and the home uh, version and it, it was quite interesting to see the jerseys there i'm, I'm really happy about the beauty of uh, these jerseys look at the, uh, the in, especially in the one that was chosen the red one i don't know if you can see it if you zoom in quite clearly uh, you see that uh, there are some pictures in there um, and some edin cross symbols at the back of the jersey or with a white one too i like like spitting rain uh, something like spitting rain the porcupine logo at the bottom right hand side of the jersey with the dinkra symbols at the back let's read a few of the a reaction to this new Kotoko jersey some people are saying here uh, that the mtl logo waiting to spoil <laughs> the design you know usually Kotoko slaps the mtl logo at the front and um, if you've seen their other jerseys they slap the mtl logo at the front end uh, some of the fans here are waking uh, are, are begging Kotoko not to add the mtl logo another comment here says oh my club another one says mtn waiting like this <laughs> On the seno, and they can't spoil them. <laughs> oh, this is quite interesting. But it, it's let me know your thoughts on the Jesse in the comments box. I think it's a, a beautiful Jesse. Another comment coming here. I know management probably has thought about this, uh, but I will say it regardless. And uh, when you release the Jesse, do not spare anyone who tries to do duplicates. Holy reason we are going to patronize the jersey is kotoko not for someone somewhere to enrich themselves i think this is another great move a uh, price where do we get to buy it uh, these kits are better than all the other ghana premier league clubs my beloved club never disappoints we are winning the league this season <laughs> now make it available across the country for us to buy without any hassle and uh, that is one of the issues that comes when it comes to purchasing ghana um, clubs jerseys it's never really at a place where you can get some to buy easily uh, it's one problem they all need to address clearly but the Kotoko fans are happy uh, with this home and away jersey. But surprise, surprise, they brought out another Edin Crow, Edin Crow. They said uh, the, 
the keen competition for the design of the home jersey has resulted in a decision by management and area who are their kit sponsors now to produce a green third jersey uh, with the dinkra designs in them and this is what they settled on for that third jersey beautiful beautiful jersey oh my goodness it's beautiful this is beautiful jersey and mtn or well one of them might slap their logo in there <laughs> fans are still begging the club not to let mtn to put their logo and mess up the design but hey they are sponsors and where else can they put their designs they sponsor kotoko they make kotoko the club it is and i think um if mtn wants to slap their logo in then sponsor kotoko who are kotoko management uh, to uh, to go against that or to be against that it, it is what it is and kumasi has under kotoko fans just expressing their opinions here so these are the jerseys that the kotoko fans voted for the green one uh, home uh, this is the alternate you can call it the alternate um, as uh, with other clubs in europe and also the red and the white one home and away let me know your thoughts in the comments box on the jerseys that have been chosen by the porcupine warriors fans kumasi asante kotoko are gearing up season in full throttle uh, before the jersey announcements uh, they announced another player uh, he joined uh, from former cluj and yelly malati sport midfielder um, that is sule muniru the brother of sule montari has joined kumasi asante kotoko and now they announced the signing the younger brother of former Ghana international Sule Montari. Now Munira has joined the Porcupine Warriors on a free transfer ahead of the new season which begins on November 13th. He has signed a two-year contract with Kumasi Asante Kotoko. He is with he had been without a club since July this year after he parted ways with Russian club PFK Tambov. Now he is 28 year old and his transfer to Kotoko mark his return to the Ghana Premier League seven years after leaving Liberty Professionals. He started at the Scientific Soccer Lads, both a youth team, and graduated to the first team in 2012. Monero left Ghana in 2013 and featured for five clubs abroad, including the Romanian giants Steyr Bucharest and cfr uh, cluj so sule Muniru, a uh, welcome back home uh, for sule Muniru, who joins kotoko on a two-year deal kumasi asante kotoko signing uh, basically a whole uh, team there let's see some reaction of the fans to the signing uh, that's it i'm no longer a kotoko fan an absolute disgraceful signing uh, yet again in all my years as a court football fan of this team i've never seen such awful players sign for such a club i'm becoming a hearts fan they play real football have better manager and win trophies really is that the same Accra Hearts of Folk Oof. <laughs> he is talking about? Welcome to the club from Daily Porcupine. Uh, all Kotoko fans should feel uh, okay. And uh, <laughs> so, a mixed reaction. So, that's why you wouldn't uh, give Maxwell Barco a creamy contract. Wow, okay. We ain't done, Fabu. So, mixed reactions to this signing of Sule Munero by Kumasi Asanto Kotoko. This will be their, I think, umpteenth time and um, signing of the uh, transfer window, which ended on 31st October. Uh, this is a late announcement by the Porcupine Warriors. The transfer window is closed. Uh, they signed him well within the window. Uh, nothing else, uh, nothing out of the ordinary for of this one. So, that has been it for today. Looking at the new Kumasi Asante Kotoko jersey and uh, home away and alternate we are just praying if MTN or Goel does slap their logo in there it will be somewhat um, uh, ubiquitous in a way for us not to even notice it but hey it's it's going to be tough uh, to tell those clubs not to slap their logo in there but don't cover the beautiful design of these uh, jerseys let me know your thoughts on the in the comments box on how you think these jerseys look like would you buy these jerseys would you be interested in purchasing any of these jerseys let me know your thoughts in the comments box i hope kumasi asante kotoko and their management uh, make these jerseys available for kotoko fans to buy early before someone else starts replicating them so that has been it for today i'll see you guys in the next one thoughts in the comments box and the signing of muniru Enjoy your day.